from porn star to preacher. Adult film star Jenna Presley has been hailed as one of the top performers in her field, making more than 300 films and plenty of money along the way. But she's since found God, quit the industry, and ditched the stage name. Brittany De La Mora joins me now. All right, Brittany, take us through this. How did you get involved in porn? Well, I got involved in porn just from, I felt very rejected growing up as a child. So I was basically looking for love in all the wrong places. Um, I started dancing in college and a couple producers came in and they were, you know, saying things to me that I didn't hear at home. They were saying, you are beautiful. You're destined to be a star. We absolutely love you. We make romance movies. If you're ever interested, give us a call. So Romance I movies, they, okay. Yeah, nothing romantic about a porno. I knew what they were talking about, and so I figured, you know what, I'm already promiscuous, and I already take my clothes off for money, so I might as well take it one step further. So what are the dangers from the porn industry? Was there a lot of drug abuse? What did you encounter? I definitely encountered a lot of drug abuse. I myself was hooked on heroin and various different kinds of pills, cocaine, um, and for a short period of time, crystal meth. Were you doing that to numb yourself or were you doing that to, to get through the scenes? Why were you so involved in drug use? Yeah, I mean, it started because I was about 105 pounds and a director told me that I was fat and that I needed wow. to lose weight. So I started using cocaine and it was just like this instant rush and it actually helped me get through the, the porn scenes. So. All right, and so you're making a lot of money at the time. How, around how much are you making when you were in the business? Um, I would make about $30,000 a month from porn, and then um, in escorting, you know, I could make about $50,000 in a weekend in New York. Wow, all right, so that's a lot of money. And, but you tried to get out of the business. Were you successful right away or not? No, not right away. I tried at my three and a half year mark, um, made Jesus my Lord and Savior. Satan wasn't happy about my decision, sent a man in my life because men were my weakness. He was a pimp and I ended up getting back into the adult film industry for another three, three years or so. Oh, man. Um, and this time I was giving all my money away to a pimp. Why were you doing that? Did he have that much control over you? Yeah, you know what? He definitely had that type of power over me. Um, he won me over through manipulation. He made me feel like, um, you know, he made me feel good about myself in the beginning. He was taking me to church. He was a backslidden Christian. And then from there, you know, he kind of said, it's time. Like, let's get back. Let's get you back into the adult film industry. I had burned every bridge in my family. So I kind of felt like, all right, this is what I got to do at this point in my life. And then eventually you found God completely quit the business. How did that transpire? Um, so I had started reading the Bible over those next three years that I was with the pimp. And um, I just remember God telling me one day, you know, you need to leave him. And so God helped me to get away by telling me to call, you know, my mother. And she came and picked me up within 20 minutes. And I was on my way to film a porn scene in Las Vegas, but I had brought my Bible. So I had the Bible with me on the airplane and um, I was reading the book of Revelation. And I read this scripture that basically said, you know, I have this thing against you. You tolerate that woman named Jezebel. She leads my people into sexual immorality. I've given her time to repent. And if she doesn't repent, I'll cast her and her children into a sickbed. That's not a, a very fun scripture to read when you're on your way to film a porn scene. But then God really started to bring grace to that scripture. And he said, Brittany, this isn't the life that I have for you. The life that I have for you is going to overflow with so much peace and so much joy. And if you'll just quit the industry today, I'll bless your life like no man ever could. And wow. so I quit the porn industry. I started going to church. God miraculously healed me from my drug addiction. I've been sober for six years. And now I get to preach the gospel and I travel the world to evangelize, and um, God has really blessed my life like no man ever could. Well, congratulations. Uh, an amazing you. transformation, amazing personal journey, and um, I'm just glad you're doing well. Thank you thank very you much. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me, Jesse. All right. Bye. Brittany, thank you.